A downriver business owner fed up with break-ins. He's asking for help tonight to track down his stolen trailer. It vanished along with an expensive tractor. And 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn tells us the crook was caught on camera. The owner of McNally's Landscaping in Brownstown Township says break-ins and thefts at his business have been increasing over the years. But now he suffered the biggest loss of all, a 22-foot trailer and a tractor that are essential for his business. Well, they cut through the gate over here. Mike McNally still isn't sure what, if anything, was stolen overnight, but the fence to his business has a new hole cut into it. And this is the person whose image was captured on the grounds. Over the weekend, other surveillance video shows a man attaching a trailer with a large tractor on it to his pickup truck and pulling away with it. For someone to put this amount of weight on the back of a pickup truck, he was actually dragging the front of the trailer and it cut a groove in the dirt out of the shop. A double axle, 22 foot long, seven ton trailer with a full size New Holland, Ford New Holland tractor with a loader bucket on the front of it and a five foot rough mode deck on with the back of it, which is yellow was gone out of the shop. Brownstown Township Police are investigating the break-in and theft, which occurred Saturday morning around 5.30. McNally says the man spent 28 minutes on the property before pulling away. I've been here for over 25 years. In the last three years, we've been broken into about seven times. They've cut the latches on my enclosed trailers, and they've gotten weed whips, cut saws, chainsaws. This particular one has even gotten worse. Now we're into stealing trailers and equipment. McNally says the man who took it has to be local because of the heavy load that he would not have been able to get very far. He says both the trailer and the tractor are very distinctive as well, easily identifiable, and he's hoping that everyone downriver will pay attention and if they see something, call Brownstown Township Police. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.